Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'm gonna try something different and that is to show you my minimalist makeup bag which has less than 10 items. Here they all are and uh, I'm going to share with you how I use them all. These are the only items I own. I don't have any special brushes or anything else that is related towards makeup. I just use these nine items for every occasion, every day. So let's get started. We're gonna do this in categories. And the first thing I want to show you is what I use for my skin to hide uh, either blemishes or some kind of inconsistencies. For this, I have only two items. Uh, the first one is concealer. And I personally use um, Naked uh, by Urban Decay. You can see it if it. Yeah, there you go. Um, I found it a few years ago. This is like a more than a, I own it for more than a year, and it's great. It's light on my skin. It works out well for me. But the point is, it's just a concealer. Anything that works well for you. Um, I'm not a makeup expert, so I'm not going to recommend a specific brand. This is just to show you that with the minimal amount of product, you can achieve a lot of different looks and a lot of different results. The first one is concealer. I use it to hide sort of my uh, under eye areas, to hide any inconsistencies there, to just even out my eyelids and to hide any kind of issues here on my chin. and. Um, maybe also like to even the tone a bit of my nose so I use a little bit of this don't even use it every day um, mostly on the bad day when I slept bad or I don't feel so well and the second thing that I use for my skin is powder foundation um, this one is by bare minerals uh, bare pro but again anything that works for you doesn't have to be this specific one what I do with this is that I usually put it over concealer um, just to create sort of that smooth skin texture but I don't use it every day so sometimes I only go with lipstick not even using this or this so this is more for things like when I need to look more polished maybe for an important meeting or for filming a talking head video so I uh, use this one I also had it close to two years uh, it was pretty well I still have a lot left and um, these are the only two things I use for my skin and again not every day and the next category is the three things that I use for my eyes I only have this three little things and I'm gonna start with the thing I really like the most and this is this mascara by Ilia I have a travel size just because I don't use a lot of mascara but this would be one of my favorite purchases first of all it's vegan it's cruelty free product it's great it holds really great again I'll show you here and I'll link it in the box below but you don't have to purchase the same it can be anything that works for you I personally like purchasing this in the tiny travel size because I travel a lot for work and I usually take my carry-on so this has been great for that also I don't use it that much and I feel like if I buy bigger size it just dries out so I make sure that I actually use it all up before purchasing a new one and this has been working really well I really like the texture that it gives I use it on my eyelashes and also I don't really have any products on my brows so if I want my brows to look a little bit more defined, I would use um, this mascara and I would just sort of glide with the brush over my eyebrows to give them a little bit more color. I don't have any fixator for my eyebrows or anything like that. If you want to fixate it, one thing that you can do is um, uh, like use a small brush and just use a soap that comes in the bar you can rub the brush on the soap and just sort of strike it over your um, eyebrows this is gonna fix it it's super cheap you don't have to purchase another special fixator for it and for the color you can use this one it's my multi-purpose product I really like it and I use it exactly this ways. I do also have the eyeliner. It's liquid tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I have it for 
a few years as well. I don't use it very often, only when I need to have an evening refined look. So that's not everyday item, but more of an exception. So these are the two things for my eyes. And the third one is the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it is quiet famous. These are all the colors that I have. This is exactly what I'm wearing right now. The color is bronzed. And it might look like you can't use all of these colors because I think it's mostly meant to be as a highlighter. I found a way to use it for many different purposes. So uh, some of it is to put the color on my eyelids. Also to sort of make more uh, my eyes more defined, I would use more lighter color in the corner of my eye. And um, also if I need to use it as a highlighter. So I just put it a bit on my cheeks, on my nose, above my brow. So it has been great. I don't have any eyeshadow palette except this one. And I found that these colors work out really well for um, multiple different purposes. And I feel like it's gonna fit well many different uh, skin tones as well. So this is my only one eye shadow, highlighter, everything in one product. So that's it. These are my three products for my eyes. The last one is my lips and for this I have three products as well. So what we have here is this one is um, lipstick by Josie Maren. Uh, it's very natural. It's, again, I believe it's vegan cruelty free. Uh, the color is very sort of nude. It looks like this. I show it a bit closer uh, and this is multi-purpose product for me as well. The way I use it, I use it as a lipstick. I can use it as well to add some color to my um, sort of cheeks here. So I would just use it as a stick. Uh, so I would use it on my lips. I would apply it like this on my cheeks. If I want to highlight something, I sometimes use it as a highlighter because the color is so universal and really, really neutral. So I would use it a bit here, a bit on my nose, along with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, the one that I showed you before, the palette. So I would use this one. So this is my suggestion. If you want to save some money, you can buy a lipstick that is very... Um, or a stick that is natural and that you can use for multiple purposes. You can even apply this on your eyelids and I also suggest getting it in a really neutral color that um, sort of just gives you that refined natural look. So this is one lipstick that I have. Then I have another one by Josie Marin. This is a bit different color so it looks way more pinkish. This is how it looks. Uh, it's a little bit more pink, so this is what I'm wearing right now. And again, I used it in the same way as the other one. So uh, again, I'm wearing right now it on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. So it's again very natural and multi-purpose product. So this is for more sort of refined evening uh, look if I want the pop of color or something like that. And the last one is this pencil, which is a Leap Cheetah by Charlotte Tilbury. It is expensive, but it's very good. And I actually use this, um, I had um, an incident, sharpening incident <laughs> was this one. Um, but this is the color, this is a bit darker. This is how it looks like. It's a bit darker and the um, other ones. And if you want to see how it looks on me, I have actually a video where I'm wearing it. But the thing is that with this one, I don't wear it only as um, uh, to give a contour to my lips. I actually wear it as a lipstick. So I would literally fill in my whole lips with this one and it has more sort of darker texture to it. Or, and it has sort of that darker color. So if you want a more fat old and dramatic look, um, you can use this one. So I use it as well multi-purpose uh, to create contour some sometimes, maybe in combination with this one or just to fill in my lips with the whole thing. So this is the only three things I have for my lips, in fact. And um, 
If I want a different color that's not one of them, what I would also do is to mix, for example, this two lipsticks or just, well, these ones don't work very well together because this is too dark and this is too bright. But for example, these ones are a good combination or I can just mix them up. So lipsticks, because they're very natural and like vegan, uh, I could use them on my eyelids, on my um, cheeks, on my lips as a highlighter, so all of these things. And this one has for more dramatic look, evening look, sort of like an eyeliner. I don't use it very often, but it's just there in case I need it. And um, yeah, the other only other item that I have is this sharpener that I use to sharpen the that I only bought to sharpen this pencil. And these are basically all my nine items that I have in my makeup bag. And of course, I want to clarify that these are just the things that would give you more natural everyday look rather than um, an artsy look if you want, if you're participating in some kind of um, specialized fancy party and you need special look or like for a photo shoot of course it's not that kind of set of tools this is meant more for everyday look and how you can achieve different variations in your look make it more soft make it more evening um, make it more dramatic or more festive with just nine things and I really believe that they serve me well I really enjoy using them all and I never felt like I need more than that uh, if you smartly variate them. I'll put the descriptions of all these things in the box below, but uh, to be honest, it is more to show you that you can achieve a lot of nice looks with a minimal amount of things and you don't actually need to buy a lot of stuff to look great, to look refreshed, to look natural and to highlight the best features of your face. There are a lot of products that you can use multi-purposely to help you achieve this. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this different kind of video and if um, you like the content, please let me know in the comments below. Like this video, uh, press the bell, all the cha cha, and uh, subscribe to the channel for more exciting content coming up. Until next time.